Hello and welcome to an Adobe Illustrator lesson on gradient mesh, but this time we're going to use gradient mesh to set some skin tones on the face that we had previously made. So to start off with, we're just going to set the skin, the basic skin tone color, and you can choose anything from the skin tones, and I'll show you where I got that. You just go to the regular swatches. And underneath on the regular swatches, there's all kinds of swatches, and there's one called skin tones. So you pull that up, and you choose a base color that you want. But I'm just going to grab the eyedropper tool and use that to pick my base color. Then I'm just going to take a moment to look at these are the gradient mesh lines I put in. So I started one with up the middle, then I went one across, one underneath where I think the nose will go one kind of on the forehead and one kind of underneath where the lips will go. So I'm going to try and duplicate that, uh, but I won't be able to see them when I'm clicking on the gradient because they'll be on this one. So gradient mesh tool over here on the left, you click on that, and we're just going to take one that's going to go up the middle. Then we're going to take one and I'm going to click right on the line because if you click right on a line, it'll only do the one which is perpendicular to it, sort of perpendicular to it. Then I'm going to grab another one here and another one down here. Notice I click on the line, so it's not adding any vertical lines. Now I'm going to click on this line, which is a horizontal line, so it should add a vertical line through all of those points. And then I'm going to try and go about the same distance, and I'll go here. Now I'm going to try and pick those points where I want to add that different color. So I'm going to click on this point, and you'll notice it's dark blue, so that means it's selected, plus the handles are selected that can affect it. I'll hold the Shift key down, and I'll select this one, and then I'll select this one. And then I'm going to go with a darker color right here. So that's looking pretty good, but you will notice that this point and this point are in a little. So what I'm going to do is grab my left arrow tool here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, I'll just go in by eye, I guess. I won't worry about counting them. And I'll click on that one and I'll move my right arrow tool and I'll go in by eye until I'm happy with that. Now, I'll go to those other files and copy and paste the eyes, the lips, um, I'll draw some hair, I'll draw some ears, uh, and I can draw is whatever I want, a hat, uh, you're going to have to draw a nose, and eventually you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So a finished product would look like this. It's got gradient mesh lips, it's got a nose, and this is how I built the nose. We can just zoom in on this for a second. I just did two pieces. Uh, I'd used a pen to go something like this. Click, click and drag, click, click and drag, and click. And then you copy and paste that, flip it, use two little ellipses. But you will also notice that I chose a color fairly similar, and I changed the opacity down on it. So I'm just going to go view fit and window to get back to my main picture and we can go back to seeing what a finished product is the hair uses smooth curves and points uh, it's got some brushes on it I used this dark brush this one right here but I used it as yellow on top of bleached white hair uh, I did an earring an earring I did like this I just took an an ellipse. I copied it, control C and control V, made it slightly smaller, and put it on top, grabbed both of them, object, compound path make, and then I took an eraser tool and I cut out a wee little section. And I made this a gradient color which I got from my swatches. I went to gradients and then metals, and I used the gold, radial gold. Uh, so that's how I did that. 
and you can have lots of fun, lots of creativity with this project. You obviously do, don't need to make it look like mine, but you can have all kinds of fun. And remember to go back to the videos before to check out how to make those eyes and eyebrows and eyelashes and lips, and then also shape the face. Good luck and have fun.